Hello folks. I hope all's well with you in these difficult times. A friend of mine, she does, uh, she's an actor, actress, I prefer to say, but, and she does voiceovers. And um, they're starting now to get people to do them at home because of the situation. So she had a go with the equipment she had, which is one of those handheld recorders for live stuff cheapish one okay for what it was intended for i think and it has a mic socket so she had a mini jack going into di dynamic mic it turned out in the end and uh they made some comments about the quality well it was a dynamic mic and a fairly cheap one at that and she recorded it really quietly so the signal level was really low so there's lots of hiss basically we're not up to scratch so she said uh could you do it around here well I don't uh, we're aware of social distancing, but what can you do? You've got to live, haven't you? So, well, maybe not. <laughs> Round she came, and uh, I've got the Isovox 2, you know, the hood thing. I've reviewed it. The neighbours were quiet, so I thought we are in with a chance. And um, I wondered about using a couple of different mics with her, and I thought, Fair exchange is no rubbery. I'll set it up and we can do a mic test on her voice and see how she felt about this thing because she's thinking she might have to buy one for her own flat. All the stuff, actually. Audio interface, she's got a laptop, whatever. So she came round. And this is non, uh, non-scientific. non I didn't have time to set levels properly, but whatever. I could hear immediately a difference between the two mics. So it's between the SV33 and the Rode NT1. The Rode NT1 is a mic a lot of people might be using for voiceover work. It's about, I think, uh, hundred, between 150, 100, 200. I think she's going to buy one. And, uh, of course, the SV33, which is considerably more. So it was an opportunity to get a female voice on both. See what she thinks about the mics and the ISOVox hood thing. And then we went on to do the voiceover. She got that done. And at the end, I thought, let me pop an in and out of the Isovox on and do different mics so you can hear the male voice on the two different mics. So it's not a big deal, really, but it's just I thought it might be interesting and the opportunity arose. So it's a little bit of a shoddy video. I have to do a little cutting and pasting and stuff, but I uh, hope it might be of uh, some interest to some of you. Keep well as best you can. And uh, see you next time. I'm going to uh, use the Isovox 2, which some of you have uh, seen before, for some voiceover work. And we're just testing the difference between the Rode NT and the Earthworks SV33. It is not the fashion to see the lady the epilogue, but it is no more unhandsome than to see the Lord the prologue. If it be true that good wine needs no bush, tis true that a good play needs no epilogue, yet to good wine they do use good bushes, and good plays prove the better by the help of a good epilogue. It is not the fashion to see the lady the epilogue, but it is no more unhandsome than to see the lord the prologue. But it is no more unhandsome than to see the lord the prologue. If it be true that good wine needs no bush, tis true that a good play needs no epilogue. Yet to good wine they do use good bushes, and good plays prove the better by the help of a good epilogue. What a case am I in, then? So, uh, first of all, I'd like to ask you, did, did you notice a difference between the microphones? I did. Um, I felt one of them seemed to be much um, more open. Uh, that's the only way I can think of describing it. And the other one, the sound seemed to be more, uh, seemed to be slightly dampened. But maybe that was the better one. I don't know from a from a sound engineer's point of view. No, it's just from your point of view, really. Oh, well, from my point of view... Um, Which would you prefer? Well, to be absolutely honest, I've worked with so many mics. I kind of just tend to listen to the advice of a sound engineer and and just deal with it. But if I'm going to be absolutely truthful, I think for my own ear, I preferred the more open sound. 
OK. And any um, thoughts? I haven't asked you about this, but any, thought, any thoughts about this hood that you have your head in? Is that, did it feel it was only a short time you were in there, but it, does it feel claustrophobic? It didn't for the yeah. short time I was in there. I, I would have to, you know, maybe do it for about... <laughs> maybe have to record for about four or five hours to really be able to give an opinion. I mean, it's a very short time. I would have thought that you could only do maybe... maybe half an hour, maximum an hour at a time, and then have a break. Hmm. OK, thanks a lot. Thank you. The owl and the pussycat went to sea in a beautiful pea-green boat. They took some honey and plenty of money, wrapped up in a five-pound note. The owl looked up to the stars above and sang to a small guitar. Oh, lovely pussy, oh pussy, my love. What a beautiful pussy you are. The owl and the pussycat went to sea in a beautiful pea-green boat. They took some honey and plenty of money, wrapped up in a five-pound note. The owl looked up to the stars above and sang to a small guitar. Oh, lovely pussy, oh pussy, my love, what a beautiful pussy you are.